Transit Elevated Bus The problem with traditional public transport is that buses or trams take up as much space on the road as several cars. A large number of buses and trams make the traffic jams on the road more critical, but the Chinese have figured out how to solve this problem. In August 2016, the Chinese province of Hebei passed the first test of a vehicle that many people called the bus of the future. The Transit Elevated Bus is a public transportation service that moves above the roads over the car flow, which means it's not affected by traffic jams and doesn't interfere with traffic. The main task of this unique, innovative bus is to unload the Chinese roads. The model that was used for the test is 22 meters long and 7.8 meters wide. The height of the tracks laid for the bus above the ground is 4.5 meters. That means that cars less than 2 meters high will be able to pass under the bus with ease. One elevated bus can accommodate 300 people as well. According to the developers, when people ride the transit elevated bus, they'll feel the same as if they were riding on the top floor of a double-decker bus. Solar Panel Expressway for several years now, Kilu Transportation Development Group has been developing and building a unique project, Solar Panel Highways. The first project was completed in September 2016 in Jinan in the Shandong province. The construction took 10 months. In December 2017, the second project was completed and the 1.6km long Jinan Expressway was covered with solar panels. The road you see on the screen is one of the first solar highways in the world. The roadway consists of three layers. The first is an innovative material with the structural properties of asphalt, often referred to as transparent concrete. The middle layer is actually the solar panels. And finally, the third layer, the bottom one, is an insulating material that protects the panels from the damp ground. The most important and remarkable feature of such a road is that it can charge electric cars while they drive on it. It's noteworthy that although the solar panels themselves are quite fragile, the roadway is designed so that large vehicles such as medium-sized trucks can move along it as well. Floating Solar Farm Solar power can provide invaluable benefits to the world as a renewable energy industry. Right now, China is the country that has the highest installed capacity of solar power. This is where a huge number of solar panels are produced and commissioned, even more than in Germany, Japan and the United States, despite the fact that these countries are considered the leaders in green energy. One of the reasons for this is the incredible degree of air pollution in China, which affects millions of people every day. Refusing to extract and process coal in favor of using solar energy for China is not a whim, but a necessity. Most likely this was the reason for the appearance of the world's largest floating solar farm. This solar plant is located in the city of Huainan in the Anhui province, right above the flooded coal mines. The advantage of such a solar farm is the fact that they produce a large amount of electricity, while not occupying a place on agricultural land and other valuable areas. The farm was commissioned in May 2017 and has a capacity of 40 megawatts. HEMA Alibaba is a large internet commerce company based in Hangzhou with almost everyone in China using its services. 
In 2018, the company began the process of uniting online and offline commerce, so a store chain called Hema appeared. It's rapidly expanding, and last year there were more than 60 such stores. At first glance, these are the most common supermarkets, but they have a number of unique features, as they're equipped with advanced, innovative technologies. Shopping is done through a unique mobile application. Customers go shopping and scan barcodes of goods they want to buy. The app shows all the important information about the product and can also show recipes that use the products being scanned. When the order is placed, you can pay with your cell phone, and at some points there are face recognition booths installed. It's noteworthy that the information about the purchased goods is stored, and the shop uses it to offer online products with home delivery to its customers. The store staff puts the purchased products in a bag and places them on a conveyor belt, from where they are sent to the delivery center. According to the managers of the store, delivery to the buyer's home within a radius of 3 kilometers from the store takes a maximum of half an hour. Camera Surveillance Network If all the technologies we've mentioned today are admirable, the technology we're going to show you about now is alarming. China has developed the world's largest network of surveillance cameras. The video shows a police station in Guiyang City in the Guizhou province. It took the police exactly seven minutes to find and arrest a man who was set up for an experiment. The fact is that the cameras installed on the streets of the city are not just normal cameras. They use artificial intelligence to scan and recognize people's faces. Some cameras can also detect approximate age, height, ethnicity, and gender, and recognize clothing and color. The cameras also read numbers, colors, and some other parameters of vehicles. Police officers have at their disposal a huge digital catalog, which contains images of people permanently residing in the city. The cameras are connected to the global network, which means that at any time the authorities can find out the location of any person they want. Also, the surveillance system allows them to find out who the person communicates with, where they are most often, and how they spend their time. Fast. The equipment you see on the screen is the largest telescope in the world, with an area comparable to 30 football fields and a diameter of 500 meters. The full name of the construction is 500 meter aperture spherical telescope, abbreviated as FAST. Development of the project began in 1994, but construction started only in 2011. The cost of the project is estimated at 1.8 billion yuan, which is about $269 million. It took about five years to build, and on September the 25th, 2016, the radio telescope was finally inaugurated in the Guizhou province. The goal of the project is to search for signals from extraterrestrial civilizations to study pulsars. High Stakes Robot Wars For several years now, the DJI company has been holding a large-scale and very spectacular competition in China called RoboMasters. When the championship was held for the first time, it immediately attracted the attention of robotic fans from the United States, the UK, Canada, Asia, and other parts of the world. Today, young engineers from all over the world take part in the competition, with as many as 200 teams participating in 2017. Although RoboMasters is not the only event of its kind, the scale and spectacularity of the competition is simply astonishing.